us with you. There's no about um, being rude or whatever. Because I'm just trying to convey the message of Allah. Stop. Okay. So you tell me a valid reason which makes you believe the guy called Ahmadi. Bismillah, Muhammad. It's uh, the second coming of the Messiah, Imam Mahdi. So, we so know, you mean? You know, the Hazrat Muhammad said there will be a time when the Dajjal will come. When the Dajjal so you believe? Come, the Messiah will Explain come. Explain to me. Well. What do you believe? What do you mean so, by Muhammad Mahdi? So the Mahdi will be the second coming, the second coming of the first Isa ibn Maria. Uh -huh. So when he comes, he will arrive the true teaching of Islam and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, when he comes from me, say Islam to him. What, what that means is, for me, accept it, you know? So what it is, there's a legal system that which is going on at the moment, which is controlled by Saudi Arabia. They have uh, misinterpreted Islam, and they have given a system and the teaching about Islam, which is completely outside the fold of Islam, you know? One, they, they say that Jesus, he did, he did not, he was raised up alive, <laughs> you know? No, forget Jesus, about Jesus, I just want you to tell me so, they, so any... they say to you that Jesus went up alive, you know, but we see from the Quran there's no way that the man says Jesus went up alive, you know. But what we believe is that Prophet Muhammad, what, what they told you is that we don't believe that Prophet Muhammad is the last Prophet. When we do believe that, we believe that Muhammad is Khatam in the beginning. You believe he's the last, he is messenger. the last messenger, you know. But this I'm saying, Dajjal is a system which is deceiving. So the system that you as Sunni Wahhabi to follow is a uh, which is from Saudi Arabia is a deceiving system, you know. So that's why Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there will be 73 different sects. Can you tell me? And only one will be. No. Can you tell me why do you believe Muhammad Ghulam, whatever you call him? Uh, okay. So, some of Ahmadi people they believe he's a messenger, the final messenger. No, no, we don't. So you don't believe he's a final messenger. No, no, no. no. We don't believe he's a prophet. We believe he's a prophet, but he's a is Muhammad Ghulam, No, is Muhammad Ghulam a prophet? As a Mr. Ghulam Ahmed is a subordinate prophet. Is he a prophet? He's a prophet, yes. Prophet? Yes, but and not you believe? prophet. Okay, wait, wait, thank you. So do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet? Yes. Okay, the and wait, 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 brother, wait, 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 please wait, okay, thank you. So if you believe Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the final prophet, that means there is no prophet after him. Yes, no new prophet after and, him. No. Okay, so and you believe Muhammad Ghulam will come Ghulam before the world comes to an end? Because he's gone. Okay, wait, wait, brother. Yeah. So you said Muhammad bin Ghulam, Muhammad Ghulam, is a prophet, and he will come, and before the world's end, the world ends. Yes, and at the same time you said Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. Yes. So you contradicted your own words. How? Because if I say I'm the last, and your Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. And if I see another prophet will come after him, that means in the first place you do not believe that Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. Okay. Otherwise, okay, otherwise, you. otherwise, you have to what disbelieve. Brother, that... let me come to the point. No, because sorry, I'm going to ask you a question. No, I'm coming to the point. First, okay, let me speak. Okay. So otherwise, you ha you ha you need to disbelieve, which you need to disbelieve by saying uh, Muhammad Ghulam will come as a final prophet, uh, as a prophet. And at the same time, you believe Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. If Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet, that means there is no prophet after him. So that's clear contradiction. So okay, I don't so understand. Do you understand my point? Yeah, I understand. What did I say? Okay. Can you repeat, so please? The thing is, what we do is when we miss. When we now, what did I say first? Please? I will explain. Okay. When we interpret the word Hatam and Nabiyin, yeah. we, we, we interpret it in a different kind of way. So what you believe is that after Muhammad, what we believe is that after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Khatam al Binyin basically means that the Sharia law, the Quran, the full Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the final Sunnah. This is what Khatam al Binyin means. Do you know Khatam? Do you know no, Arabic? Let me explain, let me explain. Do you know Arabic? Yes, yes, seal. It means seal. Okay. So the, the interpretation of this word basically means that the teaching, the Quran, the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu okay. is who, Akhari, okay, who is the which teacher? is final. Okay, I will ask you a the question. The teaching, no, okay. the teaching of Muhammad Sallallahu is final. Uh -huh. So after him, if anyone was to come, he can only teach what Muhammad Sallallahu taught. He cannot come with no new Sharia. He cannot come with no new law. He cannot come with a new Quran. He has to use the same Quran and the same Sharia. This is what Khatam and the Biyin means. 
So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Khatam al Nabiyyin, which basically means one is the last prophet, sealer of prophets, uh -huh. and all of the Sharia law and the Holy Quran. After that, there can be no new book. Okay, so now let me come to the conclusion. You said that you believe Prophet Muhammad is the so final, so prophet. The final prophet. Final prophet. Final prophet. And I repeat again, and, and you said, and, yeah, and okay, and you said, and Muhammad Ghulam will come and before the world ends as a prophet. So first of all, as I explained before, there's, contra there's a contradiction here. And another one, who is the teacher of the Quran? Let me ask you. Yes, who is the teacher of the Quran? No. Israel Jibra'il, Prophet No. Who is the teacher of the Quran, to, according to Islam? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Thank you. Okay, Prophet Muhammad, you, now you interpreted the meaning of Khatam by saying is the final message, the final Quran, the final Sunnah is the same, nothing changes. That's what it means, Khatam. Yes. Okay, Khatam and Nabiyyin, the context, it's very clear. Allah said, Wa Khatam and Nabiyyin is the seal of Prophet. It's sealed. Yes, yes, yes. There is no prophet after him. Yes, no new prophet. So that means come. that means it's not about. There is no another sunnah. There is no another yes, Quran. Yes. Wait, brother, let yes, me finish. So your interpretation is wrong, even according to the verse. Okay. So I'm telling you, the verse is clear. Okay. Clear verse. Explain. The explanation is clear. I don't need to explain. That's you can ask such ask all Arabic speakers here at speakers corner. Ask them what is the meaning of. Khatam and Nabi. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm asking you, brother. Wait. Don't rush. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad himself said in the Quran, first is very clear. Wa Khatam and Nabi. It means the final prophet. But you interpreted by saying it means and they, it's the final Quran, the final book, the final Sunnah. But it doesn't mean there is no another. It doesn't mean and the final prophet. But according to you, at the same time, you contradicting your own words by saying. Is the final prophet. Huh? If he is the final prophet, huh? as Allah said in the Quran, chapter 33, then you have to disbelieve Muhammad Ghulam. And you know what? Even Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, Allah clearly told us he's the teacher of the Quran. Allah told us Prophet Muhammad is the teacher of the Quran. وسلم. In chapter 14, verse chapter 16, verse 44, Allah said to the Prophet to Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, he said, وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Allah said, we have revealed this Qur'an unto you, O Muhammad. Why? Because you may explain to people what is revealed for them. What is revealed to, for them. So now, so okay, so what I'm asking now is, the teacher of the Qur'an is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Before Muhammad Ghulam, before Qadiani, before Wahhabi, before anyone else. So now, in the hadith, do you believe the teaching of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The hadith, do you know what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said? La Nabiya Ba'di. Yes. No prophet said there will be no prophet after me. Yes. So, but according to you, you believe all this and now you're telling me, but, but. So if you believe there's no prophet, after Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he told us the verse of the Quran, chapter 33, where Allah said, al waqatam al nabina he's the seal of, prof of, the, of the prophets. And also he's the teacher of the Quran. And he said, la nabiyya ba'di. There is no prophet after me. So why would you believe Muhammad Ghulam is a prophet? Because, because, because what? Did Muhammad Do you believe Sallam, the Quran? But did Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also not say that there will be a time when the Messiah, the Imam Mahdi, the Sayyid Muhammad, Muhammad Mahdi is the descendant of Prophet Muhammad. This Muhammad Ghulam. So, so do you know why is the Prophet no, no, Muhammad no, Ghulam is? Listen, listen, okay, listen, listen. Okay. If if there is no Prophet after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? Yes. Now, yeah? Yes. So if Jesus is alive in heaven right now, yes. Is he a prophet up there? Yes or no? G my answer, my is Jesus a prophet? Is it in Jesus heaven? is a prophet, yes. Okay, so he's in heaven, so he's in, so he's in, he's so, not alive after so Muhammad. So, no, let me ask you one thing. No, <laughs> no, that that if, logic so doesn't if, work. If, if wait, Jesus wait. is sitting in heaven, wait, 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 right wait now, let me ask you, come down let me ask you, right wait, 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 is he still going to be a prophet? Who now? came first, Prophet Jesus? Who came to this world, Prophet Jesus, or Prophet Muhammad? Thank you, Isa was prophet before Prophet Muhammad. Exactly. So, wait, 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 but Prophet Muhammad Ghulam came after Prophet Muhammad. Wait, wait, bro brother, wait, wait. Thank you. Prophet Muhammad born and came, it makes sense. Prophet Muhammad came after Prophet Isa. Yes. So therefore,
Prophet Muhammad, he was the last final prophet yes. after Isa. Yes, we that. But now Muhammad Ghulam came to this world after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No Wait, uh, let me speak. Let me speak, brother. Let me speak. Let me speak, brother. Can I speak? No, can I speak? Can I speak, please? No, I didn't finish. No, I didn't, I didn't finish. You have to believe it that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also prophesied that Isa. Okay, I will Islam. listen to you. You talk. Azam ibn Abdullah Muhammad is the same Messiah. You know, if you see Sunni sect, what did they believe? Their beliefs are coming all from Saudi Arabia. Wait. Okay. Saudi Arabia is okay. a system of a Dijal. Okay. No. Wait. It's don't go. People. Don't go to Saudi Arabia. Forget about Saudi. Am I talking about Saudi Arabia? No. Am I talking Saudi Arabia? So teaching you the Quran. So we, uh, do, do we have same Quran or different Quran? We have the same Quran. Thank you. Okay. With a different translation. Wait, 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 wait. Your translation. Where is your translation coming from? Wait, brother, brother. Wa khatam al nabiyina is a clear cut explanation. I don't need to from Saudi Arabia. I don't need from you. I don't need from anyone else. Yep, but, I know Arabic. Yeah, but you don't understand. I the word understand. Khatam al prophet said, "La nabiya baadi." There is no prophet after me. That so, will come with new so no, it's not teaching. Yes, it's La teaching. nabiya baadi. No, no, no. no. Because he said, Sean, okay. so what about wait, Jesus wait, then? Wait, wait, wait. Jesus, Jesus was already a prophet. So is he going to come back? Jesus, if he comes back. Okay, now. Yeah, he's uh, be okay, a wait, let me ask you. Wait, wait, let me think. Do you know in the Quran what Allah said in chapter 3, verse 81? Do you know what Allah said? What is it? Allah said to the prophets. Chapter 3, 81. Yes. The covenant of the prophets with Allah. Do you know what is it? Ever prophet of Allah comes to them, the prophets of Allah. After them, yeah, they have to believe that prophet, and all prophets accepted that covenant from Allah. Okay. Wait. Let me come to the point. Isa is a prophet before Prophet Muhammad. That one we know it. If Isa comes, Isa himself he will follow Quran and the Sunnah, prophet's teaching. Okay. Isa will be. Do you know Islam? Yahya. Do you know Yahya? Yeah. Prophet Yahya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yahya and Isa. They were same. They were the same time. But who came first? Who came first? Who came first? Who came first? Yahya and Isa. Yahya came first. Yahya was a prophet, and Isa came after him. Yahya believed who? Prophet Isa. He has to believe Prophet Isa, because that's the covenant. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Can you respect us, please? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just... Okay. So, so Prophet Yahya came after, uh, Prophet Yahya came before Prophet Isa, and Prophet Isa, Yahya, Prophet Yahya believed in Prophet Yahya and Isa, because if you open down the chapter, chapter three, Quran, Surah Imran, Al Imran, chapter three, verse eighty-one, Allah uh -huh. said, what? "Can you read, please, that verse?" I'll explain to you that verse for you. Yeah, but there's a covenant. Read that verse, please. Bad. Bad please read. Them. Please read that verse. What is it? No, read that verse. You what haven't got ten conditions. No, to read that verse, please. Islam Ahmadiyya does. No, read that verse. I remember the time when Allah took a covenant from the people through the prophets, saying, "Yes, whatever I give you of the book and the wisdom, and then there comes to you a messenger, yes. fulfilling that which is with you. You shall yes. believe in him and help him." So this okay. is what we're saying. What's your Okay. Do you know what Allah says in this verse? Yeah, Allah, Allah, is, Allah saying, is, is, is saying that messengers can come. No. So when a messenger you're not getting the point. Let me explain to you. It's clear. I'm explaining to you. Allah says to the prophets, if a prophet, a messenger, come after you. Let's say Yahya was there. Yes. Allah sent Prophet Yahya. Yeah. And then after Yahya, Allah sent Prophet Isa. Oh. So Yahya and Isa were at the same time, but at the same time, and also, Yahya believed in Prophet Isa. This is what the verse talks yeah, about. So now Isa came before Prophet Muhammad He was already a prophet. Isa is Isa a new prophet when he comes back? No, he's not. A Thank you. So now Prophet Muhammad is ten. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. wait. No, Soul listen. Isa is the same prophet, messenger. He's a messenger and a prophet before Prophet Muhammad. When he comes back before Prophet Muhammad when he comes back. Isa will follow the Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is what Allah is talking about because if any prophet comes after those prophets, they have to believe that prophet came after them and they have to follow him.
So now that's what Allah said in the Quran, yes. not me. The Quran. Is it clear? Yeah. The Quran is saying okay. the Prophet the Okay. So the now, does not say so now what I want, so now what Muhammad I want Muhammad from you, as you said, okay. after all the prophets, they came prophets. Okay. So after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there can be a prophet that can come. No. no. This verse is basically. Wait, wait, wait. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there is no new prophet yeah. after Prophet yes, Muhammad. Yes, not new. That's so why we Muhammad Ghulam is new. No, he's because not. he born after Prophet Muhammad. Yes, but he was the same title no, as Jesus. No, 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 not same title, he came as, the same Jesus. title as Jesus. Did Pro Muhammad Ghulam born after Prophet Muhammad Yes or no? Uh, yeah, you are okay. Muhammad yes. yes, okay. Did Prophet Muhammad sallam, say there is no prophet after me? With the new teaching. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. No teaching. Yeah, no, no new teaching. Prophet, there can be a prophet show after me a verse, brother. Where prophet? This was, where, wait, wait, wait. Show me in the Quran or in the Hadith where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there will be a prophet after me, but he will follow my teachings. Show me. Show me, please. I will accept. No, do you accept the challenge? Do you accept the challenge? Okay, is Muhammad Mahdi is prophet? Call him a prophet. Okay. Okay. Let's say for the sake. will come for me. Accept him. So basically, that means that after him there will be a someone who will come from God as a messenger. Wait, wait, wait. Because we see. Also, we know that in the Quran it also says there can be people among you that are the prophets, that are the righteous, that are the martyrs, the salihin. You know, so we also see from the Quran that a messenger can come in the later days. You know, According brother, to verses, brother, verses, I don't today, understand your control, your word. Do you know you're confusing yourself? You saying to me, you saying to me. There is no prophet after Prophet Muhammad. Yes, he's the final prophet. And now you saying Muhammad Ghulam is a prophet. Contradiction. But it's not with the new Brother, teachings. Okay, okay, now Prophet Muhammad, do you know Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad Mahdi is the okay, no, what do you Wait, mean? wait, wait. What do, you mean? do you know why is Muhammad uh, Muhammad Ghulam descendant? Uh, he was a Persian descendant. Thank you. Is he is uh, Persian or Indian? No, no, he was a Persian descendant. Persian. But you live Indian. in India afterwards. Yes, okay, okay. Teacher. Let me come to the point. Because the thing is, wait, wait, if you wait, see, wait. he cannot come of the lineage of the um, of the uh, Arab, because the Arabs were the ones that killed the, the, the grandson of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, no, no Arabs. Shia killed him. We know. Hussein exactly, who killed. Exactly. You killed him. Mm. Shia killed.